anybody else asante sana i will stand here for a minute or two comrades power first and foremost is to appreciate this extraordinary audience on my behalf and on behalf of the party i actually stood here to come and ask mulili this is probably one of the most engaging forums we've ever had and the quality of questions and the patience has been high i'll tell you my own story one day we had a demonstration and in that demonstration we did an entire circuit in nairobi city and we did not even kill an ant at elem dudu the kenyan police at that time said leo tumeweka peace lakini vijana walikuwa watulivu sana the national intelligence at that time said those are people you must watch they have focus when you see people coming into a, an arena and engaging constructively those are the people to watch not those ones who cry to create drama so i wish you all here in this con conference and in this town hall the very best in your student life and beyond that <laughs> secondly this party is led by former student leaders that the governor of embu Cecily Barire and I way back in 2002 21 met on the streets of Nairobi her as the deputy president of the student organization of Egerton University and I as the president of what we used to then call chairman of Moi University student organizations together we formed a student union called Kenya National Students Union and our first initiative was to engage Mwai Kibaki in his revolution against the 25 four years of Moi's rule and indeed Cecily and I led the student aspect and the youth aspect of the Kibaki campaign today Ha and I are in the leadership of the United Democratic Alliance the ruling party in Kenya and we felt our little obligation was to bring the young people of this republic right into the center of politics right into the center of policy making right into the center of the UDA so that together with you we can be a factory which manufactures ideas and policies for our government when we went to the president william ruto he gave us his absolute green light to engage honestly and to the extent reasonably possible because this is not only the future of UDA it is the future of this country and in this we also have the present and the future of the republic of kenya to divorce kenya from ethnic organization and politics and to bring, ensure that we bring kenya into a forum of policy conversation that's why today since morning you have been talking about the new funding model about housing about employment about the financial inclusion about all manners of uh, of issues but none of you has spoke about his region or his tribe because we don't eat regions we don't eat tribes we eat policy we eat what government uh, has in terms of the outcome of our policy formulation and execution so to finalize make sure that you have ideology like ourselves so that you are not overtaken by biology you will eventually grow old the only thing that will keep you relevant is not your biology it is your ideology that's why when we talk about creating an institution an academy for the UDA it's because we want to be an ideological party that in your entire life you look at how the academy and that ideology has met government policy and to that extent that we have been able to achieve government uh, those ideological aspects na hii bottom up is probably the best revolution of our times because we want to put the people at the bottom at the center of economic inclusion that those who have had more must allow others also to make a living those who have more must pay more and those who have nothing the government must intervene to ensure dignity of all Kenyans in healthcare in education in other social as aspects including in our housing aspects and programs kwa hivyo 
as UDA, our message is one. We will listen to the people. And the wake-up call has come from none other than the young people of this republic. We will pay attention to our people. And we are asking the leaders and various state functionaries who deal in various policy formulation, they must con to continue to keep close to the people. Listen to the people, pay attention to them, and ultimately keep close to them. Because they say politics is a game. That's why wengine wanaruka huku, wengine wakaruka huku. But the best definition of politics I have ever had was from one of the best women leaders we've ever had in this generation. The former Pakistani Prime Minister, Benazir Bhutto. She said politics is not a game. Politics is a romance with the people. To understand them, to share in their triumphs and tribulation, to show compassion. And state compassion only comes when you offer dignity to all the Kenyan people and all the people under your care. Why Mengi? I want to assure you, we will continue with the youth participation that was talked about. Age and ideology must go hand in hand. Unaweza kuwa wewe ni kijana mdogo lakini ni mwizi kuliko kila mtu. So that is you might have age but no ideology. But you can be that person of fair age but you have a still burning with your youthful desire to achieve a better Kenya. So therefore you will also get a platform of expression and participation. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio kweli ya mambo. If we don't intervene as a country if we don't intervene as political parties to create public education and public forums, the internet will intervene for us and create makeshift ideological formations. The internet will, uh, Netflix will make you feel that it is more important for you to be gay or to be given rights to be gay than for you to feed your families. That is where the world is headed. Those of the West are telling us to appreciate things like gay rights, yet they don't tell us how we can put food and shelter and do the basic dignity issues on our people. But I could fund social causes, but I could fund water programs, but I could fund education programs, they come here and fund gay rights activism so that every Kenyan has a right to be, make a choice. The only choice the UDA party has for its people is to better the quality of our lives and to better the future of our nation. Kwa hivyo, kumalizia, I am very encouraged for those who asked about the grassroots elections. The grassroots elections will definitely take place. There have been some intervening circumstances, from the youth agitation to part of what we are doing right now, so that we can have a new deputy party leader called Kiriuro Kindiki, to many other aspects that we have ever to undertake. So as we stabilize government and remove the arena of toxicity, to remove the ethnicity, to remove the mediocrity and put in professors of political science, of law, to make sure they are a law-abiding country, we will, in, we will now stabilize our political environment and ensure, and ensure the UDA and you young people and this country goes to the next level. Why Mengi? I want to thank all of you, the panelists who are here. These men are not lords unto us. They are servants unto the people. Men and women. Wajua katika Biblia na katika Quran, Mungu wakisema men na mamanisha women. Kwa hivo, I'm grateful to the young lady who's taken the courage. I remember the first time I was given a microphone at Kamukunji. Bada ya kusema, Moi kitu fulani sitaki kuregelea sasa hivi because nimekuwa mzee kidogo. Ideas zote zilisha hapo. But I can tell you you are courageous to go through this whole uh, session. And to you who are policy makers, Professor Machuki, PS my dear sister Terry Mbaika. Terry anakuwa ni one of our most formidable PSs. She has managed to ensure that we streamline the county assemblies and moderated their budgetary expenditures so that they can focus on development and representation of the people. For that, I believe one day and not too, not too far away in the next election, the people of Kaiti will know you are the natural choice. I want to also thank <laughs> P.S. Maina. He has been a formidable aspect of this program from the very beginning. 
to now and as we progress to the future of this program. And he has given us ideas. He is the man and one of the centers of the affordable housing program, the dignity issues in this country. Nataka kushukuru National Employment Agency ambaye pia leo amekilishwa. Nataka kuwashukuru my dear little sister Faith Nora Lukosi ambaye amekuwa akisema that her, her challenge to you is by the end of this circuit how many of you through her and through their local offices will have taken facilities for for for, for self actualization. Na tuma salamu pia kwa rafiki yangu Jonathan Mweke, a long time friend, an ally. Once upon a time, me and him were in the same party, Wiper. Now again, we are in the same party because we are looking for government. We are not looking for the opposition. Send my love to him. Send my, 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 my respect to him. Wajua sisi mara nyingi umfanyia viaka. Katibu, PS Livestock, anaitwa katibu wa mifugo. Kwa hivyo mwambie rafiki yangu katibu wa mifugo sisi hapa sote tumekuja na tumesherekea na tumefurahi kuwa katika hichi kikao. To the many of you as you go back home because I will not stand again. I wish you journey masses. I wish you the very best in your lives. I am sure one of the one of these fine days not too soon, not too far in the future. One of you, some of you through this chapter will make president of this country cabinet secretaries of this country prime cabinet secretaries of this county governors of this of this country and many other political positions that you will hold na vile vile you can also become secretary general sio kafikiria mimi nataka kuwa secretary general paka siku hizo so uh, those of you who are asking about grassroots elections hata hii kiti ya secretary general is up, up for grabs kiti ya chairperson iko up for grabs kiti ya organizing secretary iko up for grabs na organizing secretary anatoka hapa kutoka maeneo eastern anaitwa Kawaya. Kawaya. Na huyo ndio rafiki yetu ameniambia in person that he is not able to be here with us because he is also the chairperson of the Energy and Petroleum Committee na kuna mambo tunawatengezea ya mambo ya energy. Kuna mambo ya G2G ili tupate le, kawi ama our LPG at a, at a much cheaper rate na kawaya sahi yuko at the final phase of ensuring we implement a robust program for both energy and petroleum to ensure Kenyans have access to these basic commodities at affordable and accessible price kwa hiyo mengi pia tunamtakia kawaya the very best kwa hiyo mengi i want to thank you all and god bless you all hiyo makofi sio SG tafadhali tupige makofi ya SG Uh, I'm going to pick three last questions one here one here and the other one on the other side but as you prepare Ashas please take your stand I'd love to bring Madam Mary Mtinga to come here she's in the National Elections Board and even as we speak about matters election kuna watu wanasema walilipa pesa sijui imechelewa I love you in a minute useme tu pesa yao iko sawa kura iko na chama iko imara Comrade Power kwa majina ni Mary Mutinga kutoka Lower Eastern. Uh, mimi ni member wa National Election Board and I'm happy and delighted to be here with you guys. And I love you all. Uh, 